All right, so we're looking at the system of inequalities. The students are taking out their notes sheet from the other day, which everyone has a copy of this. We also added a bunch of things to it. What you got, buddy? Don't forget that. Yo. Kai, where are you going to be this afternoon? Where are you going to be this afternoon? You gonna get wrestling news, huh? Look at your forehead. I'm doing a close up on your forehead. Oh, I got my. Oh, it was on record. I'm sorry. All right, Kai, you're gonna be you're gonna be YouTube famous, buddy. All right, so everybody got this out? Or you just restart? No, no, no. No, I did. It's it's still playing. Okay, so you need to have this. If you don't have one, you got one, Shelly? Blake, you got one? Okay, so. Here's the system of inequalities. Um, what you need to imagine, I'm going to go ahead and scroll. And if you want, I've got a few of those extra dry erase markers. So when, imagine that this is on your Chromebook. This is already stuff we've been doing. So we know one of them has a negative slope. That's this one, obviously. And it says greater than. So you'll reference your sheet, you know greater than means above, you do your finger thumb test. I know that it's talking about this general region for the solutions. The next one has the positive slope right here, greater than 2x minus 1. And that one says also above. And then the answers though are where they crisscross. You see how they crisscross right there? That's where the solution set is. Now I'm going to have to erase this. I'm not expecting you to, to have this written down at this time, but I need to know that's where the answers are. Okay, so there's our sets of points. We have to determine which one of those points belongs in that double shaded region right here. So you've got to imagine the shading in your mind and then find the point that fits both. Yeah, look up. And there's our two inequalities that I was referencing earlier on, this, on the whiteboard. So right now everybody's writing down the answer that they think is the correct one in that solution set and then they're going to compare with their neighbors in a moment. Okay, it needs to be in this region. So I, I know, uh, well, one negative eight is down here. The negative is five eight? No. It's right there. I think it's five eight. eight. Ah. No, it's not five eight. It's not? Oh, it's not. It's, it's a little bit out. All right, how about... How about negative one yes, six? Yeah, that works. Yeah, that works. Negative one six. I'm not over here. All right. So the good thing is, the good thing is, even if you get it wrong, they're color coded. You got orange, purple, black, red, and I think they do this thing on every single one of their possible answers. They have one in the region that has. There's four regions. A place with no shaded region at all. A space over here that works for this inequality, but not both. And then a space over here where it works for this inequality, but not both. And you see how they got the crisscross. Just like I do it, but it's even, it's a little nicer. So that's the darker double shaded region. Those are the only actual answers for the system in here, in this spot. So as we were good, it was negative one six. We're good to go. Does everybody have a a mild understanding, a little bit of an understanding. Yes, so okay, so try another one. I'm gonna rewrite the inequality on the side here. Where are the problems? Well, you'll have it in a minute. Just start imagining the shading while I write. I already see it. There are your possible choices. Good luck. Excuse me, you gotta stop kicking this. All right. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm, I, should I just go with your guess? All right, let's see how confident we feel. Okay, this is one way of looking at it. This is, there's some obvious details. Guys, hello. Guys. 
Okay, so you need to identify which one goes with which because sometimes the inequalities are different. So this negative slope is at negative 2. Wait, what? Did I write it down correctly? Oh, it's that positive 2 right here. This is positive. Okay, that's all right. So it's that positive 2. It's got the negative slope. So it's below that line. So we're talking about finger thumb test that line. It's down here. So we know that this is one of the shaded regions. So the other one, it starts at 1. You can see it there. It's up. 3 over 4, it's below that one as well. So this one here is below there, and then this one here is below here. And so the double shaded is right in here. So we know it needs to have a big negative y value. And so negative 2, negative 10 is in this double shaded region. So I think we should add that one for a solution. Let's check and see what the picture looks like. I don't think you need to do all the graphing, but if you recall... Uh, I mentioned earlier that you can get one of these, not one of these, but one of my student uh, dry erase markers. And if you go through the shading on your own, on your own uh, Chromebook, you can erase that pretty easy and then find the correct answer by going through that shading. And eventually you can probably just do it in your head a little bit, but you need to practice. So any questions about this? Yes, sir. Want another example? No. No. I don't believe you. We're going to do one more. Oh, oh my God. God. Uh, I, need, I do need another example. Uh, okay. What if we play Here reverse we psychology go. and just say yes? You know what? I don't like this one. I like this one. Now, make sure I write them down correctly because I'm looking at the board slanted. It's kind of hard to see it. Let's not do that. That was disgusting. <laughs> the person that burped really loudly and it's on the recording because it's recording right now. All right. Good luck. Everyone make a guess. Um, I'll have to re explain. Here's the positive we shade above. It says greater than. This one's the negative slope. We shade below because it says less than. That's the region we're looking for solutions. We pick negative 9, negative 4, and we're good to go. And you can see what I was explaining with my hands. I look like a weatherman, but that's the area where we're going to have a lot of, uh, lot of uh, stormy activity. Okay, Is so the, there are 10 questions on Delta Map for this section. The other section's trickier. After a few minutes, we're going to stop, and I've got to teach a little more. You can get started on this part. First of all, I need you to do the following. Write down the two inequality statements. Give yourself some space. Use a lot of space. Secondly, you have to read the question. To be honest, the first time I taught this first block, I didn't read the questions because they changed the question. Sometimes it says which one is the answer. Sometimes it asks you which one is not the oh, answer. That got me messed up because that's why I got it wrong. That's, that's why I'm flipping there's out. There's a student that worked ahead. Okay. Or tried to. I get it. I didn't read either, and what? If, and that's the worst thing because what do I tell you guys over and over again? I'm starting to make a theme. You no, well, no, you've got to read when you have these word problems, and and we're going to be doing slowly. There's going to be components in this in this course where we're going to be doing a lot of reading to make sure we're actually answering the correct question. Did you write these two things down? Okay, this is why we might have trouble. We got to be disciplined. Um, so, young sir, I blame getting my degree on the fact that I wrestled. It helped me have the self-discipline. I had the brains, I just didn't have the focus. I had to force myself to focus. So here's what we're going to do. You need your calculator, and you're going to need to test each of these. Some people miss the boat when I explain this, so pay attention. Our point is 10 that we're going to check first is 10, negative 7. That's the X, that's the Y. 
The only part you're going to plug in your calculator, though, guys, quit playing patty cake. Thank you. So, we just plug in this part in the calculator. So it's a negative, use the x, and then the 2. So I'm going to type that in. And you got 8. The inequality is, is negative 7 smaller than, excuse me, negative 8? Is it? Yes. Negative 7? No. Is bigger. No, it's actually bigger, so this is incorrect. Okay, since we're looking for a solution, this idea of 10, negative 7 being one of the possible solutions, it's got to work for both of these, and we already know it doesn't work for this one, so that is not one of the answers. Ooh. We can't use... You are not the father. <laughs> not the what? The fun? The father. The father. Oh. I don't have to get so confused. For a second, I thought you were quoting Teen Titans Go, but I don't have to this Now that one, you are not the cool, you are not the whatever. Let's try, let's try negative eight and negative two. I'm asking you now, are you writing down the things that I've been writing down? You're probably going to need to use half of a page on some of these problems. Unfortunately, that's why there's only three in the category. I'm going to start with the easy one right here. Negative, parentheses, negative 8, plus 2. Is negative 2 smaller or equal to whatever this is? This is what you put in your calculator. It's 10. If you plug that in the calculator, that's the part you're plugging in the calculator. Is negative 2 smaller than a positive? Yes. Yes. This might be an answer we can use, but it has to work for both to be a solution. So we got to try it on the other one. We have to try it on the other one. So here's the part we plug in. I'm going to ask you to do this one. One half, parentheses, negative 8 minus 1. Put that in your calculator. We plug in the x coordinate. I might call the person not using their calculator. Oh, then I got to add to You have no calculator? Where's yours? Don't we have to add to it? I think you said that to me before. <laughs> it's negative. So, you should have had, or you should have gotten from this part, negative 5. Is that smaller than negative 2? Or is that is negative 2 smaller than negative 5? Yes. yes. No, it's greater than. No, it's greater than. It's greater than. So is this an answer? Nope. No. We have been foiled again. Did everybody else get negative five? Yeah, I did. Okay. I have been mistake prone today, so I really want to double check with you guys. We can't use that one. So which two have we ruled out? We've ruled out negative 10, 7, or 10, negative 7, and negative 8, negative 2. We've ruled them out. Sir? It was a negative 8. You didn't do it right. I did. Half of negative 8 minus 1. This is negative 4 minus 1. That's negative 5 total. So now we'll try negative 4, negative 9. It's a little tedious or can be, but you only have three problems to work on. I plug in which value right here? What do I plug in right here? Two. We're doing negative 4, negative 9. Negative 4. Negative 4. So it's negative, negative 4, plus 2. Plug that in your calculator. Negative, negative 4, 
plus 2. 6. You should get 6. Is that bigger than or equal to negative 9? Yes. Yes. It is. It might be an answer. Uh, now it's damn going to be likely one and a half, <laughs> negative four, Mr. Vanstone. minus one. Yeah. Scam likely is calling you. I'm not worried about that. No. I didn't know if it was not scary. important. Okay. Not everything I was writing was getting in the picture. It's um, okay. If you plug this into your calculator, what do you get? 16. Um, negative 3. We need to be following along. Negative 3, is that bigger than negative 9? Yes. That is the answer. We did it. 4, negative 9 should be, unless I... Made a mistake in my happened injury prone today. We are good. They were true for both. So with some questions, you've got to work through them until they're true for both. And that's if it's a solution. However, let's look at this question. Do me a favor. Read it. What does it say? We should not. Okay. So it has to not work for one of them. It has to not be true for one of the tests. Good luck. Who thinks they have something for me? Jacayla, what do you think? You want me to try negative eight, negative one? Yes, I Yes, right. I got it. She wants me to try negative eight, negative one. All right. Two times negative one plus two. This ends up being what? Oh, I, I plugged in the wrong number. I plugged the x value. Negative eight is the x. If you plug this in, you get negative 14. Is that bigger than negative one? It is not. Being being more in debt is worse. So that was the answer. It didn't work for that one. It can't be a solution. I told you. I hope I didn't screw this up because then I got record. There we go. Was I recording? Hey, got it right. Fabulous.